How's it going, guys? Welcome to a live gameplay commentary. Or, not live gameplay commentary, I'm saying. I sound so dumb. It's not a live gameplay commentary, it's a regular gameplay commentary. And uh, today we are talking about Call of Duty World War II. I have been playing the beta, and I gotta say, it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, it's not the best Call of Duty out there. It's pretty good, though. It's better than, than Call of Duty Ghost and Modern Warfare 3, for sure. It's not as good as Black Ops 2 or, or 3, in my opinion. But as long as it's not Infinite Warfare, I'm good. Um, right now, I'm showing some gameplay with the new the new gun that was released on the beta. It's the, the Waffle. Or the Waffle. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but hey, this gun is pretty beast, dude. Like, I went on such a tear in this, in, this, in this first gameplay right here. I just put it on. I had no attachments except for the silencer, which helped a lot with, with flanking and such. And this gun was pretty beast mode. Like I was going around just destroying everybody. Um, as far as my division goes, I want to say I was using the the uh, air airborne division. That's the one where you run around with the uh, silencer. And also for the let's call it a perk. I know it's, a, it's a, like a training or something, but let's call it a perk. I was using the one that allowed you to shoot while sprinting. That one was my my favorite one at the moment. Um, I've been messing around with the other ones, but I think this one's pretty good. Only because it allows you to shoot right away without having to uh, stop and and aim in. I'm using these kill streaks. I think on this one, I get to use the uh, the airstrike or, or the, the the dive bomber. That one was pretty legit. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I only got like a kill or two. It's not the most kills, but it was still pretty good. And then here, just plant this down, run away. And the funniest thing happened. It actually gets me a kill right there. I thought that was funny. I'm like, perfect, good. Artillery Barrage, that kill trick is pretty good. It's, it's mainly good for objective game modes. In Team Deathmatch, I have a hard time getting kills with it. But that's whatever. Um, hey, this gun, look at that, dude. Uh, the way you want to run this gun is definitely with a suppressor. Um, because it helps you keep your player in, in stealth. You know, guys don't, don't go straight to you after you get a shot or two. But also... I like to run around with the quick draw attachment and the grip. I don't feel like a sight is needed. Uh, the gun is very easy to shoot with. It's very clean. It's mostly just the barrel and and the the top of the gun. That's it. So I don't I didn't worry too much about using a sight. Whenever I did use a sight, I don't know if it's me or or if it's a real, uh, an actual thing. But whenever I use a sight, I feel like it takes longer to aim in. Without the sight, I aim in right away and it, everything's smooth. That airstrike right there that I'm using is pretty good. Um, it's called the glide bomb. I like it. I like the way it looks, the way it sounds. Oh boy, it sounds scary when it's coming down at you. Uh, at you, excuse me. But I don't think it's as effective as what we've seen before, like the Predator missile or the the variant that Far Cry, not Far Cry. <laughs> I missed that game. The variant that Black Ops 3 has. Um, speaking of Black Ops 3, right now they have a, a double XP uh, Surge and Destroy. Double weapon XP. That's pretty cool. I hope this game continues that tradition. I don't know if Infinite Warfare does it. I'm sure they do. I know, I know Infinite Warfare does better um, stuff with the guns, the new guns. But I hope that they do uh, keep the whole double XP weekend stuff. That's pretty cool. That's always been pretty not, nice stuff to have in the game. I know that this map, uh, I, don't, I didn't even mention the name of the map. It's called Gibraltar. I really have a hard time pronouncing it. Uh, this map is pretty legit, dude. Like, uh... I like the, the setup here, I like the style. Uh, most of their maps have the three lane design, which is a really good idea. You know, copy Treyarch a little bit. Um, the game does have a lot of maps. I feel like they're they're choke pointy. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I know that there's like three spots in every single map where if you look that way, it's gonna be a bad guy looking down at you. You know, so you gotta be very careful in, in, in which hallway you run into and which direction you're running into. So for example, Right ahead from where I'm looking at right now, where that threw that bomb. Right ahead from there, there's that little, uh, it's not an alleyway, but it's like a little spot where guys are constantly running into. Right there, you're gonna get shot multiple times. Um, look, right there, exactly what I mean. Every time you go into that area, you have to check both corners because there's always gonna be somebody looking right down at you. Uh, right there, I kept shooting the gun uh, because I thought there was gonna be somebody else behind there. Uh, I was going off of what the minimap said. I guess there wasn't anybody there. This guy should only get some kills with the Molotov. I got lucky there for sure. Um, one thing that I want to point out, I think I'm wrong. I don't think I got the the airstrike in this in this uh, 
in this game mode. I thought I did. I know there's one in the same map where I got a, an airstrike. Um, it's that new uh, recount, not the recount plan, but it's like a dive bomber. That's pretty legit. And right there, the game ends. Uh, I have a few things I want to say about the game. It's like I should make a longer video, don't you think? Maybe I should just come back to this and make a longer video. I like the Bronze Star um, kill of the game or whatever, or, or best kill uh, system. But I think it should only go to the winning team. I've, there's been a few times where it goes to the losing team. I don't think that's the way it should be. Well, that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.